Okay, here I am in my Tesla P85. I happen to be parked at a gas station, a place where a Tesla doesn't spend much time, but it happens to be by a road that's near me that has a 45 mile an hour speed limit so I can do my acceleration test with these uh, two balloons. The red balloon has helium in it, so it's floating, of course, and the other balloon has regular air in it, and it's hanging down. It's the weight of the balloon itself that makes it heavier than air. And so I am going to go out on the road here. I am fully stopped, and now I am going to accelerate. Here we go. You notice the uh, helium balloon went forward and the regular balloon went backward. And I'm going to stop real fast and the opposite will happen. And you might ask, why does this happen? Well, there's two ways to look at it. One is that when you accelerate, I'm going to do it again here. When you accelerate, all the air in the car goes towards the back and the helium balloon goes to the front. Another way to look at it is that right now the reason the helium balloon is going up is because the acceleration of gravity is in the upward direction. When you accelerate the car, you have gravity and the acceleration of uh, the car acting. In, in essence, the direction of up is like pointing this way when you're accelerating. And so that's why the balloon goes that direction. That's, we're going to do it one more time. Is that fun or what? Okay, we just got done with our fun little experiment with the helium balloon floating upward and the regular balloon hanging down and accelerating forward with the Tesla. And the helium balloon went that way and the regular balloon went that way. Now, for you physics-oriented people, the, uh, the more detailed explanation is that uh, the acceler when we, gravity makes it everything fall down. And it also makes it feel like we are accelerating upward at 32 feet per second per second. And so you have a vector that we'll call the up vector going this direction and gravity is causing that. Uh, now, another way to think of this is that if you're inside uh, an elevator in space and you're both in free fall, then you're just gonna be floating around in the elevator and actually, the helium balloon would just be in free fall also. Without gravity, it's not gonna go up. It, it's an interesting way to think of it, but it's gravity that's making it go upward. It's, it's, it's always gonna go in the opposite direction of the acceleration of gravity. Well, when we're in the Tesla, so we've got this gravity vector going this way, and when you're in the Tesla, you've got an acceleration vector going that way. And uh, a Tesla, accelerates at about, a P85 accelerates at about 0.8 Gs. And so you got one G going this way, 0.8 Gs going that way. They're gonna to combine to make a vector that's going a little bit above 45 degrees angle this way. So while the Tesla is accelerating, it's as if up is going in that direction. And so the helium balloon is gonna go like that. And the regular balloon that's heavier than air is gonna go 